guys, so it's time for April favorites. Can't believe April's over. I'm gonna say the same thing every single month, but I can't believe this month is over and May is already here. We're coming and I just wanna share with you guys some products that I've been really, really liking this month. Sorry if I keep touching my hair, it's driving me nuts. Um, I don't know what's up with it. <clears throat> I don't know what's up with it in these last couple of videos. It's just like driving me insane. But anyways, so I'm gonna start with um, my favorites. So this month I've been really, really, really liking, I know you guys saw this in a haul, tea tree water. Oh my gosh, I am in love with this stuff. It is so amazing. It's the tea tree toner water from Lush. And it says the antibacterial tea tree astringent grapefruit and balancing juniper berry keep disaster at bay. Benefits for anyone with oily or spotty prone skin. And I, I feel like my skin has become oily um, lately, sorry, I'm just gonna move my hair, but I feel like my skin has become oily lately, um, with the weather changing, with it getting hotter, and I just feel like, I don't know, like, oil on my skin, I spray this on my skin just to, like, refreshen it throughout the day, um, when I'm feeling oily, like, I'll blot, and then I'll spray this, and I'll let it soak in, and it feels so, so nice, um, but I mainly use this at night, um, to tone my skin. I do use another toner, but it's just, like, one to, like, get off all the makeup that I have on and um, I spray this on after I use that one and then I moisturize and my skin has felt so 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 good like you guys have no idea you really 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 should try this I got two friends completely hooked on this because um, I gave it to them as gifts for birthdays and it's awesome I definitely suggest this to you guys it's amazing my next is my next products also like a sprayer kind of thing it's my make urban decay all-nighter spray and with it getting hotter where i live now um this has become my best friend because i feel like my makeup just holds on better it doesn't melt off as easily um one tip though i always put this on before i do my mascara because every time i put my mascara on and then i spray this my eyes water i don't know what it is it's like the mascara and this mixing or something but my eyes water and then my eyeshadow creases and then it's like ugh. You know what was the point of using this if my eyeshadow was just going to crease anyways but anyways so um i've been loving 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 this though i'm definitely going to repurchase this um when i run out so yeah so i definitely suggest this to you guys if you you know like don't have time to touch up your makeup just you know need it to stay on and need it to like depend to stay on this stuff will work for you i guarantee so since i've been liking a lot of spray products this month i saw this i showed you guys this in a haul it's the vaseline spray and go moisturizer I have been loving this. I just spray it on my legs, rub it in, and I'm good to go. Like, my legs feel so moisturized, but it's not greasy at all. Like, it's no, no grease. Like, even if you go out and you run for an hour, your legs will still not feel greasy. Um, you might get sunburn, but, you know, um, they're definitely not greasy. Um, this is the Cocoa Radiant scent. It smells so, so good. It smells like cocoa butter. And, um, yeah, so this is awesome. I love this. So my next favorite beauty product is actually a lipstick and it was one that I actually got in a gift set from a friend from like the birthday gift she got me. This is actually in a gift set. It's the Estee Lauder Pure Color um, Shimmer Long Lasting Lipstick in Pink Parfait and it just looks like this. It's really 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 pretty. I have it on right now. Um, I don't even feel like I need to wear gloss when I wear this lipstick. It just like, it looks more dramatic in the tube than it does on your lips. It's really, really sheer. In my opinion, it looks like syrup from MAC, um, but a lot more sheer than syrup goes on. So I've just been really, really liking this. I didn't really like their packaging. It's really, really nice. I don't know. I feel like I stare at MAC lipsticks all the time, but I just really like the white. It's really refreshing. So my next favorite is a perfume, and it's actually like, I'm like out of this perfume. It's the Flower Bomb. I'm like, let me see. Oh, it smells so good. It's the Flower Bomb perfume um, by Victor Rolf. Um, yeah, and it's this perfume is actually really expensive, um, but I got this in a little sample set, and I think I'm gonna get like the full size of this one because I really, really, really like this stuff. It smells so, so good. I actually ordered um, off of Hot Look a while ago, or Hoach Look, whatever it's called, um, the, like, perfume sampler set that they had for 30 bucks, and it was, like, 10, like, mini, mini perfumes. If you guys watch Kendall's Palace, she just, she just did a video about this set, and I haven't gotten it yet, um, 
but uh, so I'm really really excited to get that because I'm really excited to use this perfume. It smells so so good. So my next, um, my la this is going to be my last favorite beauty product, um, is a blush from MAC. And this is actually from their Naturally collection that came out last January. Um, it's in Fresh Honey, and it's like a peachy, orangey color. Um, it's so pretty. I love this color for spring and summer. Uh, you can't really see it very well. It's right here, but you can't really see it very well. It's not dramatic at all. I don't have it on my cheeks right now. I have a different blush on. Um, but I'm loving this stuff, especially since I've like gotten a little bit more tan. It just looks amazing on tan skin, in my opinion, and I love this blush it is so 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 nice and it's one of the mineralized blushes um but if you guys can get your hands on this somehow or they re-promote it i would definitely say get it because it is so nice on i mean even when i was super super pale during christmas time i still wanted to wear this blush because it just i don't know it just looks so pretty on my skin i just love it um and i feel like the orange in this blush like brings out the green in my eyes so um yeah, I just really, really am liking this blush. So, my first non-favorite beauty product is a pair of sunglasses, and it's these glasses that I got from Urban Outfitters online. And they're little hearts, and I wanted these for so long, and for summer, I just think that these are so cute, and I am just so in love with them. They're little hearts, and they're so cute. Um, they're not as dark as other as sunglasses that what I would they're not as dark as normally I like my sunglasses to be, but I just really, really like them. And they're really light on my face and they don't make my face sweat. Like I feel like a lot of sunglasses make my face sweat, um, but these do not at all. They're so nice. And they weren't even that expensive. They were $16. So I really, really like these. I think you guys should definitely check these out for cute, you know, cute whimsical pair of sunglasses for the summer. Going along with the summer trend, I actually got this hat from Ross for five dollars and I really really like it like I think that this hat is so freaking cute I just I love it I've been wearing it with dresses like to the mall um out like I went to a like a fair a couple of weeks ago and I wore this and it you know it just keeps the sun out of my face and you know the sunglasses on and just you know you look very like chic and you know hmm. but <laughs> anyways so I just love it it was from Ross for five dollars and it was actually from Macy's like the tag was like a Macy's tag um and it has a cute little crochet ribbon around the brim but yeah so I really really like this hat I think it's so 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 cute I love it so my book favorite for ooh crazy hair so my book favorite for this month has been Delirium by Laura Oliver. Lauren Oliver, not Laura. Delirium by Laura, Lauren Oliver. This book actually started off really slow. I actually started reading this book maybe a year ago, and then I stopped and I read um, Insurgent and, you know, so many other good books that came out between then. But I kind of just went back to this book because I've been going to the beach a lot and kind of mowing through my books. And so I was like, oh, I should just finish this book. And this book has actually gotten really, really, really good. Like, doesn't she look like Anne Hathaway? I feel like she looks like Anne Hathaway. I actually got this book at Sam's Club. Um, good tip. Go to the book section in Sam's Club because Costco's book section sucks. And Sam's Club's is way better in my opinion. And it was only $5.88 at Sam's. Which, on the back, the price is it's $8.88. So I saved $3. Thank you, Sam's Club. But it's just about this girl. Her name is Lena. Um... In this world, it's a dystopian society book. Um, in this world, they're like kept in, so it's kind of like big, you know, Big Brother watching you kind of thing. And love is considered a disease. It's called the love um, disease is actually called delirium. And um, you know, she falls in love with this guy, and they try to run away together, and things happen, and it gets really, really complicated. And it's it's a really good story. It definitely is slow in the beginning, but it it builds really, really quickly, and 
I was like, could not put this book down. I already read the second, or I already ordered the second and third one of this book, so I'm really excited to get those in the mail so I can start reading them. Yay! These are my April favorites. I hope you guys really enjoyed this, and leave video responsive if you've done your April favorites already. Um, leave comments if you don't make videos about your April favorites, because I would love to talk to you about your favorites, um, if you guys have products that I should try out and such. So, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!